either. It's you're one of two types people. of people. Either you're the observed or the observing. <coughs> Be the observed. Don't be the observing. Everyone is going to a club. 300 people go to a club and they're all in observing mode, waiting for something to happen. Now, what's observed mode? Observed is the, the girl over there is making out with another girl. Oh, I'm watching that. This girl, she's jumping up on the uh, on the chair or on the table and she's dancing. There's being the observed, right? Uh, this one over here is doing body shots. This one over here is like what you did, grabbing the girl, picking her up, and spinning her, putting her down. This one is grabbing the girl, picking her up, and going, wow, look at this, they're giving them away, and <laughs> handing them to somebody. Something's happening. Pickup artists are the observed. We're not the observing. If you're between sets, you're smiling, and you're moving to the next set. Hopefully, with the last set having been just viewed or seen by the adjacent sets, or having them with you right between sets but you're doing something you're always either locked in set with two girls and you're talking and that looks like somebody wants to watch that you're the observed be the observed don't be the observing there's no more holding your beer up high waiting for something to happen leaning back by yourself like a schmuck you know and you can blame your friends because they are letting you do it right you're, I mean you can't bring pickup to somebody that person has to come to pick up yeah right they have to hit rock bottom generally and then you can build from rock bottom so if you're on the fence and unsure about showing up to boot camp or it's something that you're a little worried about or it's something getting out of your comfort zone might be a little bit too much for you I would say do it it's helped me a lot it's something that I've always been to be honest not terrible at but certainly not at a level that I was comfortable with. And the way that they've run it, the material that they give you, the steps that you take are more than worth this. It's a valuable, valuable experience. Uh, really teaches you about who you are, helps you organize everything that you're doing. So if you feel in the least bit uh, uncertain about why things work out with women and why things don't, you'd be foolish to not try this. So I was, it was very hard for me to, to take those steps and I am certainly uh, more than happy with everything and how it went out, how it was done. And uh, even five hours in, I knew right away that this was totally worth it. So get your ass out here and do it. What was your biggest learning curve? Biggest learning curve was uh, understanding different dynamics, different situations, how to approach them, how to handle them. And the feedback that I got was invaluable so that when I leave here, I can self-correct in a way that I never would have been able to do without their guidance. What was your results that you thought? I'm proud of myself for that. Man, just to be honest. Or sets, or a set you might have done. I opened sets that I never would have opened. I had success in the way that I never thought I would have had. Um, it really teaches you about yourself more than anything and uh, it's very, very, very empowering. Instead of getting to the gym or working on your dance moves, there's nothing more important than this. Hey guys, it's Mystery in Paradise. At the end of April, beginning of May, of every year for the last 10 years, my wingman, Baxter and I, would travel to Helsinki to teach the elegant art of the cold approach pickup to a select group of men ready to take on the challenge of meeting and attracting beautiful women. Now it's your turn. You are invited. To learn more, contact me and sign up for a life-changing event, Mastering the Cold Approach Pickup.